Today, I'm reviewing one of the highest rated electric scooters on Amazon, the Segway 9Bot Max. Now this cost $800, by far the most expensive scooter I've ever driven. So let's see if 800 bucks is really worth it. Well, to be honest, yes, yes it is. This is incredibly smooth, much smoother than the seven or eight scooters I've reviewed or driven in the past. Now this has 10 inch pneumatic tires. Uh, I've driven other scooters that have the same type of tire, but you don't get nearly the smooth ride as you do with the Max. There's no shocks either. So something's going on that just makes this just nice and smooth. Now the pneumatic tires are 10 inches, two inches higher than other scooters that I've driven. So you are up a little bit higher, which I quite like actually. This is like the difference between driving a Honda and a Lexus. Out of the box, the PSI was 21. They recommend filling up between 32 to 37. Now I stopped at 32 to provide the smoothest ride, which worked pretty good. I am just over 180 pounds and never felt the rim hit the curb between the road and sidewalk. And the lines on the sidewalk didn't bother me too much either. Now the tires are self-healing. Uh, they can take a puncture up to six millimeters. So kind of nice if you want to take this off-road. The stem is much higher than any brand that I've ridden. I'm 5'11". For me, it's at the perfect height. My longest trip so far has been about eight or nine miles. And usually with other brands, if the handlebars are too low, my lower back starts to ache. I haven't felt any back pain with this at all. Segway recommends riders be at least 14 years old or 3 foot 11 to 6 foot 6 and weigh no more than 220 pounds. Now the standing room is 7 inches wide, also the largest I've ever uh, stood on. Uh, plenty of room for my feet. Uh, really big fan of how much room you have. Now they place the motor on the rear wheel to protect those sensitive parts of the scooter. Now let's see how fast an $800 scooter can go. To find out, I'll set it to sport mode, the fastest of the three modes. There's 15, 16, 17, 18. So the instructions say this has a top speed of 18.6. I was hoping to see a little bit more speed, especially for 800 bucks. I reviewed a bunch of $300 scooters and it has the same speed as this one. The acceleration picks up pretty good not as fast as the ES4 that I reviewed about a month ago. And in case you're wondering, here's a comparison of the three speeds. The Max has a cruise control feature which can be turned on using the app. You can then use the throttle to set it at any speed you like. Just hold it there for 10 seconds until you hear the beep. Yesterday I had the cruise control on, uh, on a fairly flat trail and I was maintaining 18 miles per hour. Every now and again, it would jump up to 19 on a slight downhill. I went on the same trail today and with a 50% battery, or just below 50%, I hit the cruise control on again and only maintained 17 miles per hour for about 80% of the time. Uh, it jumped down to 16 quite a bit. So you do lose about one to two miles per hour as the battery starts to drain. That being said, the range is rated at 40 miles, which is pretty impressive. And the battery takes six hours to recharge. Out of all the tests I put the Max through, the heel test impressed me the most. Now I live in an area with very few paved hills and nothing as steep as this can handle. So I took the Max camping and found a decent hill right by camp. Now the scooter is rated up to a 20% slope, which is almost five more than this hill. And even though it was gravel, it had no problem at all. So if you live in an area with hills, the Max gets the job done. While I was out camping, I figured I'd test the Max on different types of terrain around the area. I was more than impressed that a city cruiser did so well in the dirt. I hit a few patches of rocks, some grass, a couple small puddles, and a little bit of sand. And overall, it got this thing very dusty. Now I've ridden it 20 miles since and have had no problems. So if you want to take this on your next camping trip, I'd say do it. The off-road capability of the Max is pretty impressive, but let's slow things down a little bit and test out the brakes. The Max comes with mechanical and electrical brakes. 
With the brake handle on the left side, in the app there's a feature called energy recovery mode. That will slow the scooter down automatically as soon as you take your thumb off the throttle. It then uses the momentum or the kinetic energy to replenish and recharge the battery. Here's a look at the three energy recovery levels. And now a look at the brakes from all three speeds. I hit the brake at the first white line on the right. The brakes are very nice and powerful and even caused a black mark on speed two and three. The Max is able to fold, which is pretty nice if you wanna transport it or carry it anywhere. However, it is pretty heavy at 42 pounds. For those who like some night riding, the Segway Max comes with a headlight, which can be turned on by pressing the power button. I like the shape of this headlight. I've never seen anything like that. It has a flat edge out in front. It shoots out probably about uh, 30 feet, but very, very bright. You can see this sidewalk is just lit up nicely. Some beautiful flowers there to gaze upon. The app tracks the scooter's location and can be locked. It displays range, battery, and total miles. There's a pedestrian mode which makes the tail light blink. You can set the tail light to be constantly on, and the scooter comes with a kickstand and bell. Now, is $800 really worth it? I would say yes, just based on how smooth this thing is. I do wish it was a little bit faster. It's the same speed as like a $300 scooter is. But other than that, I would highly recommend the Segway Max. Now I do have the Amazon link if you wanna pick this up. Thanks a lot for hopping on here and checking out my content. I do appreciate that. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and enjoy your day. Like the worst spot to be right now.